A-M-E, attractive masculine energy. Ooh, this is going to be good. So many men these days are pursuing women from the wrong place. And when they don't get what they want, what do they do? What do, they, do? they crash and they burn. And this is where you get guys that jump on the internet or they get like black pilled or something. And they say, see, this is why women are so evil. This is why I don't date. And then they completely give up on the whole dating scene, the whole dating thing. And they become a recluse. They get secluded. They hide away in their bedrooms. And um, and then they get kind of weird. They get kind of awkward over time because they're, so, they're locked up and they, they hide themselves away for so long that they don't know how to operate, especially with women. And I, I've gotten to that place, just being honest with you. I'm just being completely transparent. I've gotten to that place and I've had to slap myself upside the head and get the hell out and just start hanging out with girls, right? Honestly, even as a Christian man, there's, there's, there's nothing wrong about hanging out with girls. There, there isn't. Hang out with them. It's fine, bro. I'm not telling you to get romantically involved and try to hook up. No, I'm not saying this, but just at least hang out with girls. Get out and about. And this is going to be the best way to, to boost your masculine energy. And so let me dive a little deeper here. So, hey, look, I know it's tough out here for single dudes. I used to be one. I get it. It's rough, especially when you see your bros or you see all these other influencers with all these women, all these red pillars. Like, man, forget them. Stop comparing yourself to them, right? So what I'm not going to do right here is, is tell you to slap you upside your head and tell you to get your shit together, right? <laughs> but what I will tell you is that as a man, you got to be whole as a man, first and foremost. Meaning nobody completes you, bro. You're whole within. Even if you get the girl or you don't, you're whole. And when you walk around thinking to yourself, oh, you know... What I need is a woman. What I need is intimacy. I just, I need it so bad. And this right here, this is what's going to fulfill me. Then I'll have it all, right? No, no, that's, that's a horrible mindset to have, especially going out and pursuing women. Look, as a man, you got to realize that you don't need anything. You're whole. You're a man, right? And I said this the other day, even if you never got the woman of your dreams, even if you were celibate for the rest of your life, You got to get to the place where, hey, you're good. That's okay. That's the place you got to get to mentally. Once you get to that place mentally, eh, yeah, whatever. Now you start approaching women. Now you go for it. Because when you do this, when you go about it that way, that, hey, I'm good. I'm still whole within no matter what. When you, when you have this kind of energy, now you come off less clingy, less needy. And you won't be the, the jealous type. God knows those type of guys are the freaking worst. This actually reminds me of um, when I was first talking to Bree. Some of you guys know my story. And how the first time that I met her and the times where I was talking to her, I wasn't ready, bro. I wasn't. I wanted a woman so badly. And I just thought to myself, you know, the only way I'm going to be happy is if I get her. And um, I didn't get her for the first time, right? She went back to her ex, the one that she was on and off with for four years. And she was with him for 10 months after that and engaged to him. And God used that time, though. I didn't get all, I mean, of course, I was bummed out, but I used that time, right? My dad has always said, your downtime is your prep time. So I used that time to become the best version of myself, to become the man that God has called me to be. And he got me to a place finally where at the end of the 10 months where I finally had to give it up. And I was like, you know what, God? I'm whole with or without Brie. Even if I never get her, hey, you know, I got you. You're the one who makes me complete, God, not a woman. And so he finally got me to that place where I had to, where I surrendered. And I said, God, you know what? Just let your will be done with it. And um, it was finally then when I got to that state where I was whole within first. That's when God finally gave me Bree. And he opened up the doors of opportunity for me to actually um, start creating a relationship with her. Right. And I needed that. Imagine if I would have got her previously the first time. Imagine if I did get what I wanted and I got her. I wouldn't have been ready. And I would have been all probably clingy and needy and... I would have been a hot mess. So God had to take that away from me for 10 months, work on me, get me prepared. And then the second time I was ready. Now, before I go ahead and continue this video, I just want to let you know real briefly that right now you can get 20% off plus free shipping on all Manscaped products, which is today's sponsor. Right now, I wanted to highlight the Beard Hedger Pro Kit, which is actually my favorite product. And it's also Bri and I's ninth year wedding anniversary this weekend. So uh, we're about to head out for the weekend, actually. And I just trimmed up myself and since my facial hair is pretty patchy and i got kind of like feminine features i usually go for a five o'clock shadow uh just to kind of 
add a little ruggedness. And so the Beard Hedger has more than 20 hair cutting lengths that can be selected with the zoom wheel, all while using one single guard. It also includes beard oil, beard balm, beard shampoo, and beard conditioner. And if you order today, you'll also receive an accessory pack that includes a comb, scissors, and brush. Again, 20% off plus free shipping. Just go ahead and click my link down below. So with that said, let's go ahead and move on. You got to realize that you're a whole man with or without that girl in your life. That you don't need nobody to complete you but Christ. That's it, bro. And when you go about it this way, from this angle, from this place, this is what's going to make your masculine energy so much more attractive to women. Right? But don't get it twisted. I'm not, I'm not saying to go out to not put yourself out there, right? Because I'm a man. I don't, no, no, no. Like, of course. Put yourself out there, bro. Of course. But just come, come at it from the, from the right place. Right, because then you got the opposite end of the spectrum where men they just they sit back in their rooms and ask God, hey God, please give me a wife, please bless me and give me all these things. And it's fine to ask, but then you just become when all you do is asking, you just become a big asshole. Okay, the the Bible says to ask, seek, and knock. So when you ask, you also got to have the faith to step out boldly, step out of your comfort zone, and take action. Seek, knock. Right. And I know a lot, it's, it's, it's a very nerve wracking thing, right? It's scary going out there and putting yourself out there, especially talking to a beautiful woman. I get it, bro. But I was talking to one of our boys in the group this morning. He's, he's talking to a girl right now. And um, I said, that's the fun of it, bro. That's the most exciting part is when you're all nervous and you're all like, oh, gosh, like, what should I say? And, you know, that's that's you only get that one time in your life. Really, when you think about it, once you get mar married, right, you. You get familiar with that person, and that's a whole nother beautiful season of your life. Don't get me wrong, but those those that season where you're you're pink cloud, right, and just like you're in this romantic in love stage, and you're nervous, and you got these butterflies. That's such a special time, so embrace it, enjoy it, bro. I know it seems scary in the moment, but there's such a beauty about it, and I encourage you just enjoy that. Take take it head on, and um, it was cool because today in the in the war on, on a war call that we had, um, one of our boys, Maxime, he. Uh, he did it live right there with all of us. He, he was actually DMing the girl and uh, getting her number and everything, a girl that he's been kind of talking to that he opened up about. And uh, we are all encouraging him. And he's like, bro, I probably wouldn't have done this without, without you guys. So that's the beauty about our war club as well. Um, not to try to sell you on it or anything like that. But uh, really what this is for is accountability at the end of the day, even for myself, right? We have the war club. I mean, of course, we're giving each other value and wisdom and knowledge, all these things. That's great. Um, but at the end of the day, it's this brotherhood that we've created that's um, just keeping each other accountable, keeping each other in check, right? One of our boys uh, said, hey, discipline is cool, but accountability far exceeds, far surpasses discipline. Discipline will only get you so far, right? You'll have seasons in your life where you're super disciplined, some seasons where you're not. And so what do you do then? You got to have accountability. You got to have brothers that are pushing you when you least feel like it. And that's what we got. That's what we got with this war club. And um, and it's there's no judgments in here. It's all love. And I've never had anything like this actually in my own life. Just 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 saying, bro, like um, the brotherly love that we share. And we're getting to a point now where we're so comfortable with each other. We're so uh, we, we, we truly just trust in each other. Right. And uh, we know each other that we got each other's backs. And um, it's we're just creating this safe place. That's so beautiful. So anyways, um, hey, the best way to go about this thing, just to kind of type the loose ends here, to boost that masculine energy is to just get to a calm state where you can just relax, where you can breathe in to your nuts, right? Maxime was actually doing that on the call. I saw him. I was looking at him in the little corner of the Zoom. Uh, and he was going... I saw him doing it because he was, he was talking to the girl while we were all, you know, right, right there on the spot. And um, it was just such a beautiful thing to see. And I was like, dude, wait, if this say this girl does become his wife, wait till the uh, like three years, five years, 10 years from now, we can actually go back to this footage and look at it and I'll just get a kick out of it. He can actually use it. He can take this footage and gift it to his girl. Right. He can create something cool with this like footage that we're um, that we're recording. And, um, you know, because that's what I did. If you guys have seen my um, 
my proposal video. I took videos that I was taking while I was, you know, my first date with Brie, my second, my third, I was actually vlogging the whole thing. So I was able to compile it and give it to her. And at the end, ask her to marry me. So you can do a little cute little stuff like that. So that's just kind of one thing that I encourage Maxime to maybe do. If this is the one, hey, take you some of this footage, bro, and uh, do something with it. Make something kind of kind of cute, kind of cheeky with it or, what, or whatever. So hey, with that said, hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to join the War Club down below uh, if you want to join a group of like-minded, Christ-driven brothers. And um, hey, I'll hopefully see you there. And uh, if not, I'll see you on the next video. Peace always.